and welcome back to Gaff TV. I'm Carrie Armstrong and I don't think this man needs any introduction but I'm going to give him one anyway because I like him. It's Nathan Dyer and we're here in Swansea after your training today at Swansea City. On a cold day. <laughs> it's really cold. Don't like the pool pool here. It's just not bathing weather. How are you Nathan? Yeah not too bad thanks. Not too bad. Just um, finished training today so uh, we've got a charity event today to, um, for the hospital kids. Have you? Yeah they're going to come down so we're going to do some signings. And oh amazing. Yeah, so do you enjoy doing stuff like that? Yeah definitely you know to give back is, is the, the main thing. Um, I do help um, with some of the stuff that uh, the club give us so it's a nice feeling. Oh it's really nice and how do you like Swansea in general because you're from Bristol aren't you but how long have you been here now for? I've been here for about three years now. So you enjoy yeah, it? Yeah loving it yeah since I came here. Um, I moved from Southampton and I went on loan to Sheffield United mm -hmm. and then um, and I moved here and been playing, so yeah, I'm loving it. Loving and what it. a season it's been so far. Mm. What's been your highlights so far? Um, probably scoring the first goal in the Premier League, so yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, against, um, I think it was West Brom. How did that feel? Yeah, it was amazing, it was amazing. I mean, I don't score much anyway, so <laughs> it was a nice feeling for me. It was a nice feeling for me. Um, but yeah, no, we're doing really well. We're doing really well. Excellent. So let me take you back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let me take you back to Bristol, actually, way back to the beginning. How old were you when you first got involved in football? Um, I can't really remember. I know my mum telling me that I used to love love a football, love a ball, any kind of ball, so I used to be carrying it around. Um, and then I remember I used to go to like soccer schools and you know like little events like um, what the boys put on sometimes mm -hmm. and then this guy came up to me and said would you like to come and train with Southampton? How did that feel? Yeah it was, I, I thought it was a joke to be honest with you. No! Yeah because you know you, cause you get kind of, you, I was about seven uh. and you get like um, some older guys coming to the games and you know you don't know if it's a dad or whatever yeah, so exactly. I didn't really take any notes until Somebody rang my mum and said, yeah, they want me to come. So, um, and then I've been at Southampton ever since then. And, I mean, your life just was there, wasn't it? I mean, yeah. your whole life's been football from such a young age. Mm. Do you feel that, did you feel different from other children growing up in such a disciplined environment with the sport? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously there's things like, you know, on a Saturday or a Sunday, um, when, we, when we used to play games, obviously everyone was out going to house parties and stuff. And he was like, mum, can I go, can I go? I was like, no, you're not allowed to go. We've got a game the next day, so... You know, it was hard um, when you were growing up because you wanted to do things that you, you mates are doing, but, but uh, you know it's hard to look towards the future as well at that age. So you just see the here and now. But you know, I'm, I'm proud that they. You know, I think your man made the right choice. Yeah, some restrictions were needed. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, because you just don't know where you would be now, do you? Mm. And here is a really great place. Obviously, you're enjoying lots of success. When you were younger, imagining how life would be as a professional footballer, mm. how is it different, or is it just as you thought it would be? Um, I don't know, I don't really, I didn't really ever think about it to be honest with you. It wasn't until I got to about 16, 17, I thought properly about, you know, playing in, a, in Premier League or playing uh -huh. in the Championship, you know. I was just having fun and just doing what I was doing, you know, um, with all my, with the friends and I made, so, um, but, yeah, it's, it's a bit mad, you know, when you see yourself on match of the day and, you know. Is it weird? That. Yeah, it's crazy. It's do you crazy. do you watch and enjoy it or do you pick? holes in yourself and go out oh, I didn't like the way I did that or um, no you just want everything to be perfect when you watch it you just think don't do anything bad don't, <laughs> don't do anything don't bad, look bad. Yeah, yeah so um, but no obviously I used to watch it when I was younger so it's it a nice feeling it's a bit surreal yeah, definitely, definitely it's better than staying up um, later to watch football league show anyways oh my goodness you know when you were little did you ever have those sticker books what were they called the Merlin books yeah the Premier League books yeah, did you ever yeah, collect them some of the people got these match attacks um, uh, cards now but they reminds me of the, the Stickers used to go to school and you go, Do you have, have you got a shiny? Yeah, you got Because <laughs> they were the best ones with the crests on, weren't yeah. they? Oh man, I see, and now, and now they've got, I know they're a lot more high tech, but now mm. people are collecting them and you're, yeah. you know, you're in them. Yeah. That's weird. No, it's crazy. It's, it's good a feeling. good weird. Yeah, yeah, very good feeling. Mum, mum and dad are proud of me, so. Just a bit. Yeah. Just so a little that's bit. That's the main thing I wanted to do, so, I'm, you know, I'm really happy. Um, I love that. Do you know what you were saying if you you didn't even know until you were 16 or 17 that this was going to be a professional thing for you, you were just having fun? What would you have been if you had chosen football, do you think? Um, I did. I used to do athletics, huh? so I was um, I was quite good at that, obviously, sprinting. So I went to um, I went to the Nationals at Sprint. And, wow. Um, so yeah, so that probably would have been my second career to do that. And uh, <laughs> I used to do long jump. <laughs> yeah. I um, like that. I know, no. so um, I was quite decent at that, just probably because of my pace and I could just run and sprint and then jump. Um, so yeah, that probably, but I love football too much. So it's, it's 
that was life. my first passion. So where do you see next year going, having achieved so much already so far in the season? Um, Not just the team, but for you as well. As a team, I think, you know, the main thing is to stay up. Um, you know, we've done so well getting here and, you know, we're playing well at the moment, so it's, it's really nice. Um, and for me, personally, I did say, you know, in five years' time, I wanted to be in the Premiership um, and then uh, playing for England, and that was three years ago. So hopefully England is on the way, but I, you know, I just, just concentrate on playing, playing well and score more goals as well and, um, and keep enjoying it.